marks the beginning of the trial for George Floyd in Minneapolis. In Washington State, family have organized by gathering to speak on behalf of police violence. We'll have some families make a few remarks, um, but we're demanding that the officers who killed Manny Ellis be prosecuted. We're demanding that the officers who shot 86 rounds into Malik Williams be charged. We're demanding that the officers who murdered Giovanni McDade be charged. I'm gonna pass it on to Fred Thomas. You're asking that all the homicide cases be open. Everyone where police use deadly force in either apprehending someone or in custodial. You want to create a state office to provide completely independent criminal investigations. How can the police investigate their own brothers? If it were your brother, would you throw him in jail? We also want to create a statewide prosecutor separate from the independent criminal investigation. That is HB 1267. Look it up. It's an important bill that needs to pass. We need to fire officers with sustained misconduct and use of excessive force. Right now, it almost takes an act of Congress to fire an officer. And if you do fire one, he gets to go to an arbitrator and over half the time he gets his job back after killing what? Three people? Four people? We also are looking to enact a statewide use of force policy requiring the exhaustion of less lethal alternatives. House Bill 1310. And when he was murdered, all of the rest of the family had the burden of bringing up his kids. His kids are all grown now. Because Daniel was killed almost six years ago. Daniel never got to see his, his, his grandchildren. He's got six, seven grandchildren now. 